Good morning, everyone. If you watch my last videos, um, I discussed a lot about the FDA, and you know, I, I, I just, I, I want you to know that this, this starting cosmetic business is very much possible, and you know, people are knocking it out. But how horrible would it be to get a lawsuit on something you either didn't know, okay? Or didn't care to fix. Uh, more so, most people just don't know. Okay, and lose everything. It's not worth it. Take the time you need to fix, and fix as you go. Okay, it's almost like this analogy of someone having one brick. Uh, and they want to build a house, and they just have one brick, and they're saying, you know, I don't. I don't care. My neighbors have their house built. My cousin got her house built. I want my house, you know. And they go and buy a mobile home or something and put it on top of that brick. There, there's not a solid foundation. And because you rushed, you can get a tornado come. You can get whatever come. You haven't even gotten insurance on your home. And you lose everything. It's that same thing versus the person that sat there brick by brick by brick, building a foundation of their business, not trying to compete with others, you know, in the sense that they're just rushing to compete, you know, um, not healthy competition. You know, you don't want to do that. I promise you, promise you, promise you, promise you. Uh, in my consulting business, the clients that have cut corners, it costs them a lot. Not always legally, but it costs you a lot of time. You, it costs you a lot of um, mental energy, okay? We need to have our energy to, to succeed. And you don't want to do that. So that's why I'm giving free resources. Some people say, well, why would you do that? Da, da, da. Okay, I don't care. I have nothing to gain from it. I'm not even consulting right now because I don't have the time to give the way I feel I need to give and the way I love to give to my clients. That's why I always answer a bunch of questions for free. I have people that message me all the time asking me like a lot of questions and I don't charge, you know, I don't mind. Now, I know my worth, okay, but um, I either lead you to research further or I answer it if it's just something short because um. If I can't do the consulting, but I'm giving advice, I feel like if I can't provide a solution, then shut up. That's how that's how I am. Um, don't talk if you can't help the solution. So if you have any questions, definitely, I mean, email me, let me know, hit me up. I mean, if I don't answer right away, like I said, I travel a lot. I'm on the road. I, you know, I'm, uh, I got a lot of stuff going on. So um, I haven't even been home in like eight days, <laughs> uh, so nine days. So, um, but I'm going home today. But yeah, anyway, so, you know, just take the time, take the time, okay? And you will see, you will reap the harvest in the time it's meant to be, okay? So, about colorants, okay? Now, I know people think it's cool, you know, you want to make, um, let's say you want to make some lip pigments, for example, or you want to make some matte eyeshadows, okay? So, you go and you see these things called FDNC, DNC. Um, lake dyes and colorants, okay? And all of them cannot be used. And when it comes to the batch certified, if you were, let's say, for example, you wanted to take some and repackage it and sell it, you have broken the certification on that because it wasn't meant to be resold. It was batch certified in a certain quantity at a certain weight to be sold and labeled as such. Once that seal is broken, once all of that is, uh, once you repackage it, it is not, it is adulterated, you know? Just like we talked about in that last video. And again, I'm sorry for uploading three separate videos. I couldn't export the videos all in one. It was crazy. So sorry for that. <laughs> but anyway, so this is a good website that you can go to to learn more about FDNC lake dyes and colorants, the common ones, which ones you can use on the eyes, lips, chest, whatever you have, and to really think about some things before you start putting colorants in your products that could really send someone to the hospital to be honest if it's not the right thing so let that's just one resource the second resource i have here is one of my favorite sites of all time it's called bulk glitters i'm just using this site because you guys see these pictures here and these lip glosses it looks nice like man you know i could put glitters in my lip gloss and people sell those stackable glitters or they go and they're smart, you know, right? They go and repackage glitters that they brought from TKB or any other site, and they sell it as their own mixes. Here's the issue. When you buy that or when you sell it, how do we know that that glitter and that combination of glitter, they're all safe 
for your eyes or your lips. Some glitters are only made for your eyes. Some are made for your lips. Okay, some are made for your chest and your body that cannot go on your lips or your eyes. Be very careful with that. Be very careful. Okay, the glitter that used for this may not be able to be used for this. The glitter for the highlighters may not be able to be used for the, the stackable glitters. Pay attention to that, and that's why you should get it from reputable sources. Now, if your homegirl is selling glitters or they're selling neon pigments, believe it or not, some people sell those neon pigments that are meant for nails and like dip powders for the eyes. Okay? <laughs> Ask how they know that those glitters are safe for the eyes, okay? And I'm just going to bulk glitters because they've been around for forever. They're wonderful, great customer service. Um, and they sell like, I mean, the way the details are, um, they give you a good uh a, a good outline of what you're what you're gonna buy. So since my favorite color is purple, let's let's find some purple glitters here. Okay. Okay, ooh, this one's pretty blissful tease so it shows you the sparkle factor um and it tells you now can i use this i want to use this glitter for my lips okay um because i think this is really cute i think it would um be nice for like carnival you know i'm caribbean so it'd be nice for carnival or something like that but how do i know if i could even use this blissful tease glitter you know it looks good but how do i know that I can use this for my lips or whatever. Okay, let me just click one of these. Okay, this glitter, oops, this glitter cannot be used on my lips. And they have the safety data sheets that I talked about and whatever. This glitter is only meant for the body. Okay, and it shows the limitations here. It shows the applications. So this glitter is considered to be cosmetic grade. What does it mean? It means that the FDA has certified the pigments ingredients used in this glitter that are safe for skin. This particular color is not considered eye or lip safe. So I cannot go with the makeup brush and top this on my lips for carnival. Okay. I can't even top this on my eyes for a shadow. And if I go to sell this, Let's say I just have a website selling glitters. If I go to sell this and I don't mention this and my friend puts it on her eyes and I don't listen to the instructions, if she gets an outbreak, who's liable? I am. And you know, at the end of the day, people always say, oh, no, girl, it's okay. No, they're coming for you, okay? We don't want that. Always list your instructions on your packaging or on your and, and on your website and <laughs> any other medium. I would even put it on the, the little receipt or invoice that you ship with your packages if you do so of the directions because people you have to assume people don't know how to use lip gloss you might say everybody don't know how to use lip gloss never assume always because what if their kid gets it you know never sell as if everyone knows what you know okay so you would i would put you know these glitters are bomb this purple is you know, you're going to draw everyone in with this purple, this is a tease, blissful tease, da 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 da. I write something like that in the description, hashtag it up, do some SEO, and I would make sure I put in bold, copy and paste this glitter, <laughs> you know, okay? So I'm just letting you know um, how you can source some glitters and how easy it can be. And I like how they have different particle sizes of the same color, but that's just giving you an example. So again, this video was a short little video because I know some people do ask about that. Be very careful. And I'm going to tell you right now, green, the color green and like the, the lakes and powders, make sure you look that up because some of them are not even meant to be used on the, the, um, the eyes and the lips. Okay. Um, if you're packaging from these websites, be very careful. So that was that, and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you for watching.